and welcome to another video with Märklin of Sweden. Good to have you here. Today we will be traveling, traveling south from here uh, and end up in a town called Hesleholm. That's in Sweden, in Scandinavia. And visit uh, the um, model railroad uh, club there. Uh, it's a big club. It's uh, 150 members and they've been building on this layout since 2004. It's a mid-60s model of the town, Hesleholm, and the surrounding villages uh, along the line. Uh, the track plan is here. So here's the main station and uh, the connecting station, like this. It looks not so fancy on the track plan, but I can assure you that this is uh, definitely a layout you would, would like to visit. So. Uh, Let's start the tour! Let's start with the overview panorama. This 700 square meter layout is fitted in several rooms and this is the middle room which is the biggest one. Let's go for the ride. We're starting off and heading towards Sørstala station. I had the opportunity to uh, go to the actual Sørstala station and this is what it looks like. And this is the model. Not so bad, is it? Most of the buildings and structure you find on this layout is handmade. Made from prototypic pictures and drawings of the buildings they represent. This is the actual ducks bed manufacturer in Sørstala. And this is the model. Let's continue the journey around the layout by leaving Sørstala towards Hesleholm, which is the main station on this layout. Now the train is entering the longest permanent layout straight section in Sweden. It's a fantastic 25 meter ride which includes the Hesleholm main station, the passenger yard and also the shunting yard for goods trains. The 150 members of this model railroad club in Hesleholm has spent an excess over 100,000 hours to plan and build the layout. The prototype of the Hesleholm station was open 1860, but the station we find on this layout was built 1921, which was the later station building. We're now approaching the station Vestra Torup. Vestra Torup is known for its peat industry, which had its own narrow gauge railroad, which transported the peat from the field to the drying plant. Here you can see how the narrow gauge is crossing the main lines. And these are the installations to handle the peat. We're now approaching and passing Tyringa station. We 
we're now through time lapse approaching our last stop for this trip, which is Finja Station, and that in a classic Swedish rail car. Amazing, isn't it? If you want to go there, please check out the club uh, webpage. It's www.hmjf.se. There you will find all the information you need on where it's located, when it's open and uh, everything like that. Uh, the, they also have a, a very nice uh, cafe where you can have lunch uh, at a decent price. And uh, they have also big, big expansion plans uh, they told me about. Uh, one great section with the wind landscape and uh, also uh, the nearest big city, Malmö, is in the project line. So keep up to date uh, with the latest there. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please help me by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once next video goes live. Until that happens, see ya! Merklin of Sweden is also available on the following media platforms. MRRTutorials.com Complete video listing sorted on the topic. Facebook. Here you find the latest and greatest with Merklin of Sweden. All new videos are also published here. Instagram. Snapshot from the miniature world. Pinterest. Links to cool miniature stuff. And Google+. Here you will also find the latest and greatest as well as new video releases.